Okay, so this is the new 1.8 uh, firmware on the BMC. There's a bunch of problems that have been fixed. The main problem I have with the uh, old BMC firmware, the main problem everyone was having, as far as I'm aware, was that it wired up like crazy because there's no optical low-pass filter in front of the sensor. So BMC have taken a giant shit on everyone who's a naysayer um, and have basically completely solved that problem in one fell swoop. Well, almost entirely solved. You can see in these charts here from the old BMC looks something uh, like this. And you can see that on the top right-hand corner of the chart, there are huge problems with um, Wari. Lots of color noise in there. Um, as the contrast jumps between different colored pixels. And there's nothing that has really been filtered out there. And what the new firmware does, as you can see here, is somehow magically does an algorithm on the raw pixels and spits out a desaturated version or a anti-aliased version of that moiré. So basically entirely removes the problems. I mean, there's a tiny amount just at the very far right on the second from top part of the resolution chart there. Tiny little bit, but nothing more than you'd expect from a much more expensive camera. Um, and virtually no problems anywhere else in the chart. So um, just to explain the uh, method used for the, the chart here, I basically just printed at 600 dots per inch and shot with two BMCs one which I've upgraded to 1.8 and another which was still back at 1.4. You can see by the comparison of the charts here that it's a pretty obvious difference, um, a pretty huge jump in, in quality in, in terms of getting rid of the moire. Oh, another couple of cool features in the new firmware um, would be the, uh, the double tap option to zoom in to one to one pic pixel um, to check your focus. Um, now works for ProRes as well as RAW recording, um, which is awesome. Here are a couple of examples of real-world situations where you might find Wari. Uh, this is the old firmware versus the new firmware. And as you can see, it's, it's a pretty huge difference. The, the one other change in the firmware is um, tweakings to the uh, the way that audio is dealt with. Um, it seems to be for towards the positive side. Um, in 1.4, I think the audio actually got worse from 1.3 to 1.4, but from 1.4 to 1.8, it seems to have improved quite a bit. There is still some problems in terms of frequency response. So it does roll off at the base. Um, no improvement there. We, we have a juice, juice link plugged in just now um, up to a Rode pin mic, which you can't see in this frame at all. So it kind of defeats the purpose of having a pin mic, but it hopefully sounds okay. Otherwise, I'll just have to do this all again. I'm waiting to hear from juice Linked about whether there are different optimal settings. Hopefully he can, he can do another pass for us in terms of frequency response and give us an indication of what he might do um, in terms of EQ uh, in post to fix the problems. As far as I can tell, it's pretty usable now, which is great. The main thing is the Moiré fix is absolutely huge. And just a side note on that, the Moiré fix only applies if you're shooting ProRes, or, and I assume DNX HD. I, I don't shoot DNX uh, a lot, HD a lot, but um, I assume it's, it's gonna work for DNX HD as well, but not RAW. Uh, so he, he, here's the, the same chart from before, but in RAW DNGs, as you can see, Wari everywhere. There's no improvement there because, of course, there's no processing on the RAW. It's RAW. Um, so whether Resolve 11 will uh, debear the RAW like the camera does from now on? Well, I don't think so. We've t been testing the beta. It doesn't seem to do that. But it would be great if they could integrate that so that you can keep the extra latitude but also keep the smart algorithm that somehow debears the Wari out of it because that's absolutely genius. And yeah, I guess we all just have to thank Grant Petty and his team at Blackmagic Design because they absolutely nailed this one.